Siddharth, what is it with the Maithu and his historical shows that attracts you? Yeah, I feel that there is uh, there is so much entertainment, there is so much to learn, there is so much to create, there is so much to uh, send a message through entertainment in this whole universe. So it's like a it's like a blessing to be able to tell such great stories because it's they are not small stories, they are not easy stories, they are stories which are relevant for thousands of years and I'm just trying to do my best in making them relevant to today's generation. Uh, mythological shows have been, especially when we talk about Ramayana, Mahabharat, it has been done for a long, long time. With yes. they have, uh, Most of the producers have done their versions. So what is uh, your version, what is your thoughts behind uh, presenting this? You know, I have uh, dreamt of making the Ramayana since the time uh, the Mahabharat dream got over. <clears throat> and once Mahabharat was over and I was thinking that, you know, what I was as a person after, you know, spending more than five years in telling the story of Mahabharat, uh, I just changed as a human being. I was no more the same person who in this city of Mumbai was came out to tell a story and you know, just got into the Mahabharat, the way it shaped my personality, the way it made me um, evolve as a human being rather. I thought that, you know, I need to now read and understand the Ramayana and if I can ever tell this story, it will be great. And because, you know, these are, uh, how much ever we talk about things being made 40 years back, what a legendary Ramayana, legendary Mahabharat, they've been made when we were just born. Right? And that time was very different, you know, relationships were very different in the same family. The core is same today, but I feel that relationships have evolved. The way uh, with the technical advancements also at that point in time, today they are far evolved. Uh, every family, the dynamics uh, at the core are the same, but the way we are expressing has changed. So I felt the need because uh, while I was growing up, I was always told to do things and not question anything. When I went to school, I was told that, you know, you read a book and uh, don't write what is there in the book, write how you interpret it. That's how you'll be marked. So I felt if I read these great stories and I tell them in a new way, which is relevant in today's times to a younger as well as an older generation, then these stories are so large and so they've been relevant for five, six thousand years. And I feel that every decade these stories should be told. Every decade the new India should know, uh, not from a theoretical standpoint, but just from a even entertainment and learning standpoint that this is who we are. I think this is our culture. And the new generation that's coming up, that's always been my focus because when I was very small, this was a visual that at that point in time, I have very vague uh, memories, but it was splendid. Nobody had ever seen stuff like that. You know, today when I see them, I felt that, you know, we need to tell it in a new way. You know, they are legendary. They will always remain legendary. But that does not mean uh, we should not tell it because society has changed, relationships have evolved. So how can I do it in a different way, get into areas of the same story which have not been shown because there are lots of aspects which are not been shown as well. So those are things that we are showing like if you watch the Ramayana, you know I started with uh, why was that vachan that was given to Kekai by Dasharat so important? What was the way Ayodhya lived, what was the rule of the land then, why was a word so important, today we give a word and say FYI, you know, now we give a word and say where is it written, show me, you know, but this was not a document, this was a word given as a king of Ayodhya to his wife, which he asked for 25 years later, you know, and he honoured it. So the point of why was it important, those areas are the things which interest me and those are the reasons why I get into it to that detail and I tell it in a new way and I think that is what works. Also uh, telling any mythological uh, story, uh, it comes with the responsibility of yes, presenting it important. in a certain yeah. way and not modernizing it or maybe yeah, yeah. not fictionalizing it. Mm -hmm. So how, how are you going to take care of that? Uh, what kind of research? Uh, you, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's such an important responsibility when I'm telling the story of a Mahabharat or a Ramayana, you know, it becomes such an important responsibility 
because it's not just uh, another show that comes or another film that comes or another entertainment three hours that I spent. There are emotions attached to it. There are beliefs attached to it. There are value systems attached to it. So I am extremely sensitive towards it. For me, it's critical, you know, to not cross a line. And what I feel is, for that, I uh, personally take. I am a writer director myself. For me, every detail on where is it taken from, what are the texts like. We have a research team which does constant research on topics because there are various books and sources also in our country for the same story. So we have Almiki's Rama and we have Ram Charit Manas. We have both the options and plus versions of them. So it's very important to get the right source. When I say source, it means like which are you going to follow. Plus there is you know there are perceptions that people have in the country uh, in different spaces, and I feel that these stories make Indians feel proud about themselves. So I should be working on that core emotion and making people feel take a lot of pride in their story and in that journey learn the subtext of the story i think that is what is uh, most important for me and that's what i do i know it's not a documentary uh, they were not talking in this hindi language also then mm. nor there was background music you know so what is important is that there is something called the text what we speak and subtext of what we mean so every story in this space has been written with a lot of text with a great subtext so i try to just come bhavart kehte hain ki hum keh kya rahe hain aur bhav kya hai so that is what i try to uh, get in every story and uh, it's really interesting because you learn so much yourself because you you learn from the best writers in the world you know it's so well written there is so much more to understand it's just about how you look at it who story you are telling you go to a book store you see five books of geeta how which is the correct one it's about what you read how you understand it and how you interpret it and that's what connects with the viewers because they had know the story they want to see oh dashrath's name was like this oh this was the reason why vachan was important so that the next generation also understands the value system like you said i am writer and director also a creative person yourself how um, how involved are you in uh, creative decisions when someone else is writing the story someone else is uh, doing the costume or maybe all minute details how, how are you involved in all that process see i am uh, i am primarily the i'm i primarily everything that you see on ramayan uh, goes through me if you may say it like that every dialogue spoken by every actor to every costume that you see every look every casting every episode that goes out um i set it up so it is my vision on the narrative you know as to how this story is to be told i have a writing team i have a direction team i set it up in the beginning i do my casting to my casting team so i'm the creator of the series you know and my core responsibility is how to tell the story on screen uh so that's what i do also um, you have such a uh, well made set how uh, do you maintain that how difficult <laughs> it is to maintain it and to see it to that it see dreams are never never uh, small enough to be uh, maintenance heavy and with dreams uh, maintenance does come and but that's a part of the journey i wanted us to have a, a studio like i went to universal studios around 2010 11 and i felt that you know oh, what a massive setup you know how they built their own world and they have memories of oh this was shot here that was shot here and so i thought why don't we build our own you know why can't we create our own universe why can't we tell our history uh, through a place where this set remains for everybody to come and see how ayodhya could have been you know so i felt this is not there in my country and you know i should be doing it so of course this is a this is a blessing to be able to do this on one side on the other side yes it's a it's a journey that swastik bhumi is currently on with uh, over 25 acres uh, the studio stands as of today with 16 17 18 shooting floors um, we do a lot of work and all our stories are told from here and many other people also try to come uh, slowly slowly i see this becoming a destination of sorts for people to come and witness the stories of india and many more things will be added in the journey but that's a dream and that dream will be uh, i'm living it 
also i want to know that uh, over the years you have produced so many shows you have witnessed uh, also in the industry you have been part of the industry for a long time you have witnessed its progress so how it has changed over the years uh, when it is come to production values also set design there was a time that uh, no producer imagine uh, producing uh, such a show or uh, erecting such a huge set uh, and there was a there used to be a budget constraint as well सी जितना मुझे याद है यू नो बजट्स आर नेवर इनफ हैव यू एवर हर्ड इन योर करियर दैट आई हैव अ लॉट ऑफ बजट सो बजट विल ऑलवेज बी अ सेंसिटिव एरिया फॉर टाइम मेमोरियल इम मेमोरियल इज वॉट आई फील एंड सी आई एम दिस काइंड ऑफ अ पर्सन आई लाइक टू टेल स्टोरीज दिस वे यू नो सो आई हैव आई हैव फिगर आउट माई वे इफ आई मे से इट लाइक दैट बिकॉज बजट विल नेवर बी देर बट इट्स अ स्वास्थिक प्रोडक्ट it has to reflect the core values of what how swastik believes in telling the story how we believe in telling the story so i think those things are very important and today uh, the bhumi really helps me in doing that yeah. in the today's market scenario bhumi really helps me in doing that because this infrastructure i've been investing in for so many years you know to somewhere that today helps me in telling this you know for a beautiful place you know to create that because we already have the infrastructure you know it helps us in telling it better uh, in this journey did you face any kind of hardships i am Way sure you have <laughs> i am sure you have Way too so many. Uh, yeah so it's a daily how, uh, yeah so yeah. how how did do you like you know like during covid times you uh, just imagine this whole place uh, for 2 to 3 years you were shut <clears throat> everything was shut there was nothing to do everybody was looking around i uh, personally believe in people much more than anything else so i i retained everybody who I was working with us they were through it all they were all in it together but crisis happened the this is something that happened to the world not just to me so i think problems will happen but uh, to figure out a way also one last question i want to ask you is that uh, is after telling uh, such stories rama and mahabharat shiv shakti do you have any dream project yeah. which you want to <laughs> put yeah there i have a dream that we tell our local indian stories in a global way to the world and i believe that you know not many people and since i am into it now for the last more than a decade or so i know much more but i did not know about it we have so many stories we have so many characters we have so much of a world of our own that is a country i feel we should have our own verse which should be called the bharat verse it should be called the bharat verse that is what i am working towards creating in the form of cinema in the form of web in the form of television in the form of mediums across so that's where swasthik productions is going from here and we are building this dream of bharat verse Thank you so much Thank and all so the much. best. Thank you so much. Thanks.